Oh, decent. Another quest completed. Another 100 reputation. What's going on guys, my name is Frosty Mate, welcome back to another classic quest episode. Now today in this episode what I'm going to be doing is actually starting off with the Dwarfhold reputation because there is a server boost on at the moment and I know that getting Dwarfhold reputation is a pain in the ass. Uh, it's very very slow from what I can remember back in the day. The reason why I want to do that is because the Dwarfhold reputation shop actually has some really nice items in it and I don't see anybody sort of wearing them anymore so without further ado I'm going to quickly show you guys what these items are but as always guys before we get into it let's take a look at the did you know of the day. So did you know on May 29, 2009 there was a Adventure Quest Worlds toolbar that you could actually put Put on your web browser I think it was actually Yahoo when Yahoo was like really popular back in the day essentially they created a battle bar where you could have it on your web browser so you could see who was online or your friends your gold your adventure coins you could click the play button now I do actually have another picture so just bear with me one second it goes into a bit more detail here so the staff is currently testing the new Acorwards battle bar see how you have like play now the design notes your level adventure coins gold and how many friends you on are online it was really cool I didn't use it too often but just say you wanted to see your friends you know you could see who was online at all times and stuff like that it was a really cool thing I don't think you can get it anymore I don't think it is a thing anymore but I thought that was quite cool so let's take a look at the rep shop then so this one I'm not too bothered about but it's these ones here so this one is the rank 6 version and you have a massive sword here for rank 7 which is really nice a nice long axe there a golden axe here this one always reminded me of the blinding light of destiny before the blinding light of destiny came out dragon range you got the hammer of drong and the thag war hammer which is really really nice as you can see none of these require rank 10 by the way and then we have the dwarf engineer and the grandmaster iron uh russia i think that says what we have to do i think we just have to start talking to these sisters here um, I'm not entirely sure if um, I'm going to be able to unlock some more reputation quests once I've completed these lot. So we'll definitely find out to see if that is the case. I only get 100 reputation from these quests at the moment. So it's not very good at all. I think the last one's in here. Yeah, there we go. So that's the first quest done. And yeah, so this will basically be the start of the second Chaos Lord, guys. So Varth and stalagabite dude i cannot wait to actually attack those and get the vast armor the really nice swords that and weapons that he drops those things are just like so nice i cannot wait to do those so we need to kill some bears so this bear here i believe it is where you get the bear skin that's an easy so i think everything is doubled right now because there's a double xp boost i think double gold as well and also double reputation don't know about class points Okay, so hopefully, yeah, so there we go, the 100 plus 100 boost, that's awful um, that these only give 100 reputation, it is absolutely shocking, but there we go. So now we have to kill the red turtle shells, okay, here we go, that's another quest, easy peasy, and then what's this one, bear facts, so corrupt skin, oh yeah, there's a corrupted bear in this area, I remember now, it's down here, isn't it, yeah, the twisted tooth, um, I can't remember what it drops actually. I guess we can find out, but I just want to turn this quest in first just to see if it um, will give us more quests to do. So I think uh, we need to go to Llama, or is it called Farm or something like that? I know it's in this direction up here. There it is. There's the farm. There's the Llama farm. I haven't been here in ages, man. So we've got some daily quests here. This one's going to give us 200 Dwarfhold reputation, and this one is going to give us 200. Mate, that's actually awful. We need to get some llamas done, uh, but we're gonna go for the red shell one because that's all I can remember first. Uh, bear claws as well. We probably have to get some pine trolls as well, I'm sure. Let's see if we do. I'm almost certain that we do, right? Oh, maybe not, damn. It just kind of shows how bad the dwarf old reputation is honestly like 200 per quest for daily quests bro considering that you can get six or eight thousand from the good and evil reputation quests they are having you on man and that's that one completed as well so then these quests are really bugging me alarm a llama and a pine troll made off with my llama leash we got a pine troll mace. 
Okay, I found the llama leash. Now we just have to find the llamas. Alarmed llamas. What does that mean, bro? Ugh, don't spit at me, you disgusting animal. Where are the llamas at then? <laughs> Where are the llamas at, bro? No llamas there. Look, there's Citadel. That's cool. I'm going to have to Google this, man. And I haven't got a Scooby Doo what it's trying to tell me right now. There's literally no llamas in sight. Okay, one more of these and then we can go turn it in. I just have no idea how to do this one. I mean, if it was like a thousand reputation, I'd be like kind of triggered, but I think it was only 100 or 200, so it's not even that big of a deal, to be fair. Turn those in. Hey, there we go. Dwarfhold rank two. Now we get some leather wings. Okay, that's that quest done. That was a nice and easy quest, to be fair. I liked that one. Not too difficult. Okay, and what's this last one here? Follow your nose. No beards, gold, pine air freshener. Okay, so I guess the pine air freshener would be from the pine goblins or trolls, whatever they're called. Pine troll, come here, son. And there we go. So that's those quests done, guys. And this is going to give us the bag of gold, which is decent. So then we can return to what's his face back in the tavern. Snowbeard. Uh, okay, quest complete. Go back to the inn. Okay, so now we've got. Head through Pinewood Forest to reach Dwarf Hold. Okay, here's my battle axe like I promised. I'll get you into Dwarf Hold, but be careful. Dwarf Hold has become a very dangerous place. No extra quests for us now, though, apart from going into Dwarf Hold. I could have sworn he gave you daily quests, man. I could have sworn it. But anyway, let's go to Dwarf Hold. Daily quests. Here we go. Balance the scales. This one's for 400, but it requires rank 4. We'll just start off with these ones, then. Bad memory. So the memory stone... Where's that memory stone? I think it's right at the bottom, isn't it? In the little area where the mole is. It'd be cool if we can get some of the Chaos Drow stuff and, you know, especially these guys here and the ones in the upper Dwarfhold city. I think it's called or Upper City. Yeah, look at him. Look at Varth. He's awesome, man. Okay, water stones. What do we have to do here then? On the mountain path leading here, you must have seen some bald bows. I didn't actually go on the mountain path, but I definitely will do. Carry on, carry on. Okay, so now I have to go to back there and kill some of those vulture thingies. Ah oh, man, I do love Avenger Quest quests, dude. Alright, decent. Another quest completed. Another 100 reputation. Jesus, wept. This is going to take us ages. We're ranked 2 dwarf hold right now, guys. Not even close to rank 3 right now. <laughs> Man, why did they make it so hot and cold with like Dwarf Hold and all the other ones? Food pouches, what do we have to do here? Each of the drow soldiers carries a small pouch of food. Oh, we've got to go kill some drows then. Oh, here we go. We've got a fringe drow moth and forks hawk. Whatever that means. We've got the fringe, not bad. And that one. Uh, I think I prefer this one. Oh, I don't know actually. Let's get rid of that one and uh, we'll equip this one, see what we're looking like, dude. Wow, we. Yeah, we actually we don't look as bad as I thought we would, you know. That's okay, that's pretty cool. We'll just keep it on for the time being. It kind of looks pretty cool, actually. Another item that. I'm kind of interested to see what this guy wants. I can't remember if this was around back in the day. I know that these guys here drop glow worm, um, glow sticks, I think, even. So that'd be kind of cool to get one of those, I guess. We probably won't keep it though. I think I will keep this helmet though. I like this helmet. Yeah, here we go. Look, the yellow glow sticks. Where's that? Oh, that, that was the pine troll mace, by the way. Yeah, look at that. Oh, they, they actually glow. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. The blue one's kind of cool. I might equip one of them to see what they look like. Ah, I don't know. It's kind of cool, isn't it, I guess. Oh, that one dropped to four, mate. What? That's well good. I kind of forgot that they used to do that in this. Like, some of the quest items could drop multiple times. That was a godsend. As in, you've just seen it. It dropped four. It dropped half, just like that. And there's another three. Damn. These guys have got quite a lot of health as well compared to all the other monsters. So, this one's going to take a bit of a while. There we go. We've got the Chaotic Draconian Blade, which looks, I'm hoping is going to look really nice. Considering that we couldn't get any of the other Draconian Blades from the last go. Yo, man, that's looking pretty decent. That would have gone really well with the original uh, warrior class. All right, so those are them quests done. What I'm going to do is quickly enhance all my new items right now. So what do we have to do now? So we've got the daily quest that we still can't do. Thank you for your help, my friends. Now you must gain access to Upper City. I cannot help you with that, but Geo Petal can, okay? All right. 
let's go talk to this Macy boy then and see if we can get up to the upper city. That is where it is there, but I think you need the key to open the door. And that is done. So now we can go ahead to the upper city, but we will do that in the next episode. I will just take a look to see what items we can get with rank 3 dwarf hold. I'm hoping at least something right from the shop. Maybe like a crappy little weapon or a helmet. If that's the case, then yeah, I might not do that. But at least we've got the upper city dwarf hold key. Let's just quickly uh, use the key on the door so then we, you know, we don't don't mess things up and then we can just get into there for next time round. And there we go, upper city gates. That's done. So that's fine. Let's go back to tavern then and finish off just to see if we can get any new items. Join tavern. We already have gotten two new items, which is cool anyway. So let's go on the shop here. So we can get the dwarven base lord, or I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, I can't get anything. I can get the dwarf dwarven battle axe, which is kind of cool, and the dwarven throwing axe. They were quite nice, but they're just tiny little things. Can't get any of those. We can't get them. We can get the bronze war cooler and the this helmet and this one. We can get that one too, and that one, and that one, and not that one. So how much are these throwing eggs? Th uh, 20,000 for this little battle axe. I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and get it. The dwarven battle axe. Yeah, I mean, I was expecting it to look that small, to be fair. But anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.